What's up guys, Sarah and Benjamin here for another video. Today I'm here with my good friend Ty as usual. And I just want to take a quick second to thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing. It really does motivate me to keep making these videos. Lately on my channel, we've been focusing a lot on the leg drag. So we've shifted from more bottom game to top game. And the way that I want to present the leg drag to you is how you can use the same pass against multiple guards. Because that's what makes a good passer. When you're able to bring somebody into a pass that you're doing well with, from any guard. So take Bernardo Faria for example, any guard he sees, he's going to find a way to get to the over-under. So in this case we're looking at the leg drag, it's one of my favorite positions. 90% of the times, any guard that I'm put in, I'm trying to find a way to the leg drag. So a lasso, the Hiva, reverse the Hiva spider, trying to get to leg drag from there. So without further ado, let's look at the leg drag versus reverse the Hiva. Before I even show this technique and demonstrate it, this is one of those techniques when it does kind of initiate a scramble, but it's one of my highest percentage techniques, and I haven't seen anybody demonstrate it or teach it, but it's something I do on a daily basis. If you missed my last video, it was leg drag versus De La Hiva. I also have a leg drags control and basics video that you're definitely want to going to check out if you're not familiar with the position, but let's get started. So first of all, versus De La Hiva. It can be a nuisance if you don't know how to pass it. Basically, he's got this inside hook, yep, just like that, and he's grabbed my ankle with his right hand, and he's kind of angled towards me, just like that. So, this guard can be very difficult to pass because it shuts down the knee slide. So when I'm trying to slide my knee through, he's just extending his leg, and I'm not able to get my knee in. And then a lot of people start to come underneath us and create all sorts of problems. So the first things first, when I'm against a reverse De La Hiva player, I like to be aware that he's trying to go underneath my legs, so I'm almost always starting with like this collar grip to keep him at bay so he can't get underneath. Sometimes I'll even put this knee down, but if I'm going to shoot for this leg drag, which is always my first option, I don't. Because I do this pass quickly. I don't like to hang out in his reverse tail here, right? I'm not here like, oh, what's he going to do? As soon as I get in this position, I almost instantaneously try this pass. Because if I'm not able to get it, I can initiate a scramble and at least get out. So what is the pass? You're going to be like, this is too simple. I'm going to grab this leg that's typically on my hip. This is the common reverse de la Hiva, pan grip, right behind his calf. And I'm going to roll my knuckles in. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate it slowly, but then I'm going to go quicker because this is a very hard pass to do slow. I'm going to leg drag to this side. This is my best reverse de la Hiva pass because most people assume that this side of their body is protected when they're playing the reverse de la Hiva. They very rarely expect somebody to pass this way because it's very hard to do. They expect everybody to try to take this path. So I come here and I'm going to squat and I'm going to punch this leg through. And then as I do that, as I shove the leg through, I'm going very slow for the purpose of demonstration, but I typically do this very quick. My left knee is going to come back and shoot in. But I'm going to do that as I fall, so it looks a little more like this. I catch myself with my hand and my knee, and I need to make sure to get my elbow across. I'm almost like doing some type of sacrifice pass here where I'm just going for broke. I need to get to here, and ultimately I want to get my hook in. So I'm going to change the angle in a second. So a little bit quicker, he gets reverse de la Hiva, right? His foot's on my hip as soon as he's here. I just do this, and then typically I'm able to follow through start to attack the back, attack arm triangles. Some people flatten out and turn into me, and then I'm just able to get the pass. So it's a little bit of a quick pass, and it's something that, again, I haven't seen anybody do it, but man, it's, it works so well for me. So let's look at it from this back angle. He gets, let's move this way a little bit, just to make sure we're not out of shot. He gets reverse the other heel, right? I like this pass because I don't have to worry about his ankle grip. I'm gonna grab this pant grip, I'm going to shove it through, and this leg's going to like almost leg pummel in, and I'm going to shoot myself this way, like this. You see how this leg comes in? I make sure to get it here. This elbow comes through in front, I clamp, and I make sure my foot is past. I don't want to be here. I want to be here. This is very important, guys. So a little quicker from this side. He gets the rest of the heel, I'm here, and I just shoot past. And right away, if he turns into me, I beat him with the head control, and I'm able to establish my pass. So one more time, guys. We're this way. 
He gets reverse daily Hegel. I have this paint grip. Right, we're fighting. And I'm able to attack my pass. Not the prettiest, not the most detailed, and definitely not the most common, but very effective. I can swear by this pass. Very rarely when I teach do I say, like, man, that's going to work for you. If you do it quickly and you do it properly and you understand the leg drag control and basics, you will be able to hit the pass for sure. It will throw your opponent off. I tell people you'll hit it once or twice on the reverse De La Hiva players at your gym. Once they know it's coming, they'll never do it again and they'll keep their foot low. I actually saw a friend of mine do this like years ago and he was able to pass my reverse De La Hiva. So just a quick bonus here, stand time. I love playing reverse De La Hiva. Let's move back this way. And I used to always play like this and he would bring my leg through. So I actually started playing my reverse De La Hiva much more tight. And once you do this to the guys in your gym, they're going to start adapting and it's going to be much more difficult. But you will be able to get it. So try it out. Comment if you're able to do it. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, thanks for liking and subscribing. If you like the content, please do so. Like and subscribe. Well, guys, thanks so much.